Welcome to season three, episode nine of Stable Talk. We have women's basketball sophomores Morgan Pennock and Bryn Deluzio with us. Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. How are you? Good. Uh, we're just gonna do some quick, fun trivia and question and answer, all that kind of stuff. If first you guys just want to go over like quick bio stuff, where you're from, when you started playing basketball, how you came to Stevenson, all that stuff. Whoever wants to go first. Yeah. My name is Morgan Pennick. Um, I'm a biology major on a pre-physical therapy track. I'm a sophomore. Um, I started playing like AAU basketball in fifth, sixth grade, and um, Coach Jackie recruited me to come to Stevenson. I've known her for a very long time, so yeah. How'd you know her? Um, so she was Seton Keogh's basketball coach, and I went to Seton Keogh when as I was a high school. High school, St. Keo High School in Baltimore, Maryland. It, it recently closed two years ago. Mm-hmm. But when I was in middle school, she was the coach there. And there's a school connected to um, St. Keo High School called Holy Angels Catholic School. And my dad's a teacher there. So, like, ever since I was younger, I would go to my dad's school and see her. And then it's a coincidence. I went to St. Keo, then she coached at Stevenson. And then I came to Stevenson. And then after seeing Keo, I went to Archbishop Spalding, and it turns out she went to Spalding. So it's like we were going to cross paths, like, eventually. Something in our <laughs> yeah. Life. It's fun. Yeah. So I've known her since I was probably, like, third, fourth grade, honestly. Okay. I'm Bryn. I'm from Baltimore County. Um, I started playing basketball when I was in fifth grade. Um, I'm a criminal justice major, and I forgot the other question. Um, how'd you go, what made you like to Stevenson or your pathway to Stevenson? Um, I chose Stevenson because it's close to home. Like I felt comfortable. Um, the coaches were great. Um, mm-hmm. just really good reviews from everyone. So did you guys have class this morning or lift or anything? Um, just class. Yeah, we don't have we're lift day. Election day. it's election day. Oh, uh, that's right. I remember that. All right, we're going to jump into our first segment, Q&A style basketball slash holiday edition. <laughs> All right, what, what, what do you guys think, like, the most exciting game was last year? Or which game had you, like, freaking out the most on the sideline? Um, for me, it was when we upset Widener at home. Like, yeah. that game was – we were down eight at halftime. I think this goes like 40-32. And we're like, we're really hanging with them. They were the number one team in the conference. Mm-hmm. And then like second half, we just went on like a run. And it was just like, that was like the best game. Like we upset them. And then like, we continued our win streak. Like that was the best game. What about you, Bren? Um, I would say, I would say the um, game against Lycoming when Brandy hit the, um, game winning shot I was on the sideline at the time so that was just really um nerve-wracking for me and um it was winter go home so we were all just really hyped for that win that was the away one yeah 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 do you guys have any pre-game rituals or like superstitious kind of things you have I personally don't have any no no pre-game rituals no, just <laughs> music or something. Yeah. Um, for me, um, I have to go to sleep. <laughs> I have to take a nap. I don't know why, but I have to get it in. Like I have to. Like in the locker room, or you mean like earlier that day? Earlier that day, like literally before I come to the locker room, I'm just waking up. Like, or I'm just waking up, getting something to eat, and then go to the locker room. Yeah. Like. Not sluggish. I feel refreshed, though, not in a sluggish way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what aspect of the game do you think comes easiest or hardest basketball-wise? Um, I think for me, defense comes the easiest because that turns into offense. Like, I think offense might be a little hard because, like, everyone's different. Like, 
some people might be facilitators, some people might be scorers. So like you kind of mm-hmm. have to have chemistry on offense. On defense, it's like universal, like get the ball, like take the ball, like yeah. that's that's and then that can turn into offense. So like if you get a steal, somebody just goes out for a fast break. So that's the easy two points. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that Halloween is over, like, do you guys, are you guys people who, like, jump right into the holidays, or you're just like, oh my god, no, not until December, or whatever? You know how people are, like, already shopping, and all that Or already listening to Christmas music. Yeah, Christmas music. (laughs) I usually start listening to Christmas music, like, as soon as, like, it gets cold. (laughs) (laughs) The last I don't really do any early shopping. I'm usually last minute for everything. Yeah. Um, for me, I guess I'm just like jump right in like Halloween's in the past. And like sometimes I do late shopping, but like online shopping, it's like I kind of want to get it done early, especially like Black Friday and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. all right, last one. What's your favorite uh outdoor winter activity? Like, do you guys sled or anything like that when there's snow? <laughs> or I like snow tubing. I know I love snow tubing. Like going snow tubing, like at a mountain. Yeah, well, so I don't fun. know if I've ever done that, but I like snow tubing, like in my neighborhood. Except I don't remember the last time I've done it. Yeah, I like snowball fights. <laughs> That's the, a thing. The team. I guess it didn't snow enough last year for the team to really do anything in the snow, oh, right? Yeah. It yeah. like flurried like once. Yeah. Yeah. That was really upsetting. All right, we're gonna jump into um basketball and Stevenson basketball trivia. All right, we'll give you the Stevenson one. <laughs> How many straight postseason appearances has Stevenson women's basketball had? Um straight five. Not enough. I'm gonna say oh. Eight. Close. It was seven. Nine. Oh. And then, all right, we'll give you another Stevenson one. Do you know who set the what is it? The Division Three consecutive triple double record. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, is her name Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. Sarah Tarbert, right? Yeah. Sarah Tarbert. Yeah. Sarah. Here we go. All right. We'll do Would You Rather. This is the fun part. Okay, would you rather live in an amuse- amusement park or a zoo for the rest of your life? Amusement park. Amusement park. Yeah. All right, for the rest of your life, would you rather give up breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast. Lunch. Yeah, I was going to say lunch. I think I would just yeah. eat a really big breakfast and a really big dinner. I'd probably give up dinner. <laughs> Why? Because I love breakfast food and I love, like, making sandwiches. Dinner food is just like, eh. All right. Um, would okay another like amusement park question. <laughs> would you rather go to amusement park for free anytime the rest of your life, or go to a restaurant for free anytime for the rest of your life? Restaurant. restaurant. Yeah, I'd be a restaurant too. Would you rather win a Olympic gold medal or a Nobel Peace Prize? Mm. Nobel Peace Probably Prize. Probably. In- yeah, Nobel Peace Prize. Really? I'm not yeah. even sure really what a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, is. how do you how do you win a Nobel? Yeah, how do you win a Nobel Peace Prize? Do you guys know? I, you have to you do have something to like, like extraordinary for the yeah. world or something. Yeah. Like, okay. Is there like a Here's show something. every year where they like give that out, like the Grammys, or is that not how this? Works? I don't think so. It's just like I think it's like a banquet. Yeah, kind of. Is I it think. Like, like, uh, White is it a trophy usually. or a necklace or what is it though? Or a plaque? I think it's like trophy. a plaque. Like right. a... Um, should we Google it? <laughs> yeah, what's it look like? Oh, it's like a coin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I think Nobel Peace Prize because like anybody can go to the Olympics. Like you have to be extraordinary to yeah. win a Nobel Peace Prize. How to win a Nobel Prize? <laughs> Oh, like, um, I don't know if you guys remember, what's her name? Never mind. (laughs) 
But I, I, I guess it's like worldwide and not just US. So it's the Olympics. Yeah, okay. Um, would you rather have feet that keep growing as you get older or hands that keep growing as you get older? Does this mean like really long fingers or like literally like swole? Like, like no, like they just keep getting bigger. It's like you know how okay. like your okay. ears your ears don't stop growing. So it's I mean, not like your it's not like your fingers just like. Um, I guess feet. Yeah, I go feet, feet too. Yeah, I go feet too. Feet you can like high kind of. I would go hands because I don't know. I've always worn the same size shoe. <laughs> That would suck, I think. Oh, buying new shoes all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't really buy gloves. Yeah. All right, Jay, do you want to do the rapid fire questions this time? Yeah, but first, you guys have to tell us your favorite either Coach Reggie's story or Coach Jackie's story. We always tell, <laughs> Yeah. like, from one of the road trips or anything, team meals. Okay. Okay, my favorite Coach Jackie story was... We were on campus like winter time when just like the athletes were on campus and mm -hmm. she's like he meeting like get down here to o'clock whatever the time was and she was like as we were walking by she was like oh so y'all were partying last night like she like straight face like oh y'all in trouble like get in the locker room <laughs> and we're just like what so that's when she like comes in the locker room and she's like she says something to Nadia, like, what's up? Like, we heard about y'all, something. And that's when she was like, just kidding, no practice. And then we had, like, a yoga session. Like, everybody was scared, though, because you were like, <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> that was, like, you got, that was... You, you guys thought you were running sprints? Yeah, like, she was, like, mad. Like, who was it? Like, who did this? Like, who was <laughs> it? <laughs> Yes, we were all asking around the team, like, who got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, while we do that, I'll, all right, so I'm going to give you guys, like, 15. How do we do this again? Do they both answer, or is it one um, person? I'll set the timer for three minutes, and... They both um, answer, right? Yes. We'll just have Morgan go first, and then bring the second. Like, Jay will say the question, Morgan will answer, and then quickly after, Bryn will answer. And then the next question. You move on to the next question. All right, so we're going to try to get through 15 questions in three minutes. You just have to, like, answer the first thought that comes to your brain, basically. Okay. All right. Okay. Start the timer, maybe? Or yeah, I'll start countdown. the timer. Yeah. Three. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. If you were famous, what would you be famous for? Basketball. Um music what is one word in the dictionary you wish didn't exist i don't know i don't even read the dictionary yet <laughs> well, I, was I don't know i some people hate the word like moist all right um, what is one food you could not give up cheeseburgers <laughs> i would say potatoes like any form of potatoes M most exciting thing currently going on in your life I have great grades right now. That's awesome. I would say, like, mental stability. Nice. If you were putting together a music festival... <laughs> a good festival, mindset. Sorry. If you were putting together a music festival, who would your headliner be? Beyonce. Ooh. Drake. Nice. Something you always bring with you to away games. Lotion. Wait, is Morgan you're answering? You're good. You're good. Uh, okay. Like a brush for my hair, like hair products. Okay. Um, what is your go to karaoke song? Um, treat me like somebody. I I don't know. I don't know that one. I don't know. All right, we'll skip, to the, we'll skip to the superhero <laughs> one. If you were a superhero, what would your power be? Three minds. I would say teleport. If you could be in any movie ever, what movie would you want to be in? Uh, Like probably any Medea movie. I would say American Gangster. 
What is an outdated fashion trend you hope comes back? Um, outdated fashion trend. Where's the timer? Do we can keep going. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess like low rise jeans or something. Okay, we'll give you guys. <laughs> yes, <one>. never again. <laughs> we'll, give you, we'll give you guys one more. What's uh, what's your hidden talent? Um, I can hold a tune. I can sing a little bit. <laughs> I can hold a tune. <laughs> I'm pretty good at painting. You know. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more? Show, show us more. Um, we have one more in here that in my room at school, but nice. I'm, I'm oh, that's school. nice. Do you take any art classes at Stevenson or? No, I just no, do it when I'm bored. Yeah, it's that's good to have a hobby though. That way, yeah, screen time on Instagram isn't like eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate that? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone remember any Reggie stories before we log off? I have one, I guess. Okay. All right. uh, my favorite Coach Reggie story was um, when it was, <laughs> we were on campus, not like nobody here again, over the winter break, and like me, Brent and I did not want to eat Rockland, and like during practice, we were like, <laughs> Coach Reggie, like, you trying to take us to Chick-fil-A? And he put us at Chick-fil-A, and we stayed there until it closed. Like, we were just talking and, like, really getting to know him since he was new. And, like, we were freshmen. So we're just, like, figuring a lot of stuff out together. And we stayed there until 10 o'clock till it closed. Like, that was really fun. That was nice. Really fun. Why do I feel like I remember – I feel like I remember him coming back from that or something when we were in the office for some reason. Maybe yeah, he probably went up to the There's office. Probably yeah yeah there's probably a night game for men or something that night but we always tell everyone to like shout yeah. out their handles or give us yeah. some like inspiration shout out quotes. friends or family or whatever to end the podcast okay uh, i want to shout out my mom my dad and my brother jordan and since like it's covid and the seasons are like up in the air. I just want to publicly wish him good luck on his junior year football season that's about to start. Um, yeah, I just want to shout my family out. The football yeah. season is starting now, or when does it start? Um, I think next week is his first official game, honestly. For high school? I don't think it's any fans or anything yeah. as of right now. Gotcha. But that's nice. That's good news. Bryn, do you have any shout outs or inspirational quotes you want to tell the people um i want to shout out my family of course my mom brothers sister and just everyone stay safe and stay positive mask up yes (laughs) all right well good luck with classes and everything yep that's the end of the episode (laughs) later bye thank you guys bye thank you Thank you.